to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video just a reminder some great news the design of experiments for 21st century engineers the mini tab version has just been released. I know for those of you unfortunate enough to have selected Minitab you have a great deal of difficulty in understanding this software so we've created this special version of this text with the Minitab screenshots. The link to lulu.com where you can buy this book is in the description below and of course you also have the option of purchasing Drink Tea and Read the Paper which is the perfect book to go with your Green Belt or Six Sigma Black Belt training. The link to lulu.com for that book is also in the description below. And of course the other thing that we'd really love you to do, please go to buymeacoffee.com and make a small donation. All of these things, the purchase of the books and the donations, they help keep the channel moving. I'm really grateful to all of those people who are currently donating. Many thanks for your support and your help. And now, let's get on with today's video. So let's talk about efficiency and effectiveness. Now, if I ask you a simple question, um, if I ask you to make a choice, if I put a gun to your head and I say you have to choose one, which one would you choose? In my workshops when I usually ask this question, I think predominantly 70-30 I would say, people say effectiveness. Effectiveness is the most important thing. And then when I ask them, and what kind of measures do you have in your business? Every measure they have is a productivity measure, is an efficiency measure. Very little of what they do is an effectiveness measure. And even if it is an effectiveness measure, it tends to be on the back burner. So it tends to come second. It doesn't tend to come first. So let's talk about what the definition of what efficiency is, the definition of what effectiveness is. Well, it's very straightforward. Efficiency is pleasing yourself. Efficiency is, I've spent some money on some machinery, I've spent some money on some resources in terms of people, machinery, a factory, etc. And I want to know if I'm using that factory well or not, if I'm using those resources well or not. So you tend to measure things like productivity. You tend to measure tons per week, meters per week, this type of thing. And you're trying to see if you're using your resources uh, in a very um, effective manner in, in the sense that uh, they're being used 100% of the time or somewhere close to 100% of the time. So efficiency is pleasing yourself. Effectiveness is pleasing the customer. Effectiveness is pleasing the customer. Effectiveness measures are things like on time in full schedule adherence which is absolutely crucial both of those are absolutely crucial so one is pleasing the customer one is pleasing yourself so now if i ask you which do you think is most important pleasing the customer or pleasing yourself now of course i know you want to do both but when there's a conflict when there's a conflict in your business which one will you default to which one is most important? Which way should you go when there is a conflict that needs resolving? And unfortunately, most people go down the efficiency route. Well, one of the things, one of the reasons why I'm bringing this subject up, of course, is this is directly what lean is about. Lean is about effectiveness. It is about effectiveness. It is about pleasing the customer. Now, whenever people get given, of course, lean comparisons between uh, competing companies, one which is very lean and one which isn't very lean, 
What do we always compare? Well, we always compare the efficiency numbers. We always say how many cars per man shift, what square meterage is being used, how many cars per square meter are we producing, and things like this. And we always talk about how efficient lean companies are, how much money they make, etc., etc. And because of that, people think lean is about efficiency. Efficiency is a happy accident out of lean. Effectiveness is what it's all about. What are the seven wastes? The seven wastes are a measure of effectiveness. They are a measure of how fast the product is moving towards the customer. That's why the eighth waste doesn't exist. The skill, the wasted skill, that isn't a lean waste. It's not about the product. Lean wastes are about the product. They are all about effectiveness. And lean makes you put effectiveness at the top. And what it's trying to make you do is this. It's trying to make you please the customer. But then it's trying to make you please the customer in the most efficient way. So we will get efficiency from lean, but not by concentrating on efficiency. You concentrate on effectiveness, on time in full. You concentrate on the seven lean wastes. You concentrate on how fast the order is flowing towards the customer. And then what lean does is it gives you the tools to be efficient below that. So the classic conflict between efficiency and effectiveness, of course, is batch size and setup time. So it's easy to be more efficient. You can just make your batch sizes bigger. And if you make your batch sizes bigger, you're dividing your setup time over a, um, over a bigger batch and therefore you become more efficient. It's very easy to do that, but you're becoming less effective. So what does lean do? Lean drives you to reduce your batch sizes. That's what the seven wastes are driving you to do. If you want rid of your seven wastes, batch sizes have got to get smaller. But then what does it do? It says, look, there are tools to help you to do this. Setup reduction tool, SMED. Yeah, because we want to take the reason away for the big batch size, which is the long setup time. So it gives you effectiveness as the top priority and then it shows you how to be efficient below that. Now what does this do over letting the two fight one another? Well the point is this, if you try to please yourself constantly eventually the customer will make you please them. They'll phone up and say my order's late, progress chase it. So what will you do? You'll break your brake machinery runs down and suddenly your batch sizes get really small. What does that do? It makes your changeovers really, um, really random. You don't know that a changeover is coming. So now your changeovers, instead of being an hour, are two hours. So now you're not being effective and you're not being efficient because your customer will make you violate your efficiency measures if you're not pleasing them. Whereas what lean does, it makes you please your customer always. You're always driving towards the customer and then you're always driving to be more efficient below that. By the way, things like milk rounds, um, water spiders and things like that are also a way of driving efficiency when batch sizes are coming down and deliveries seem to become uh, more inefficient. Actually, if you use a milk round, uh, you can get the same efficiency through your material handling systems. So you're effective and you're efficient. SMED, you're effective and you're efficient. And that's what Lean does. It allows you to be effective, please the customer, and be efficient below that. And what happens? Well, the customer never bothers you. The customer's never on the phone, forcing you to upset your system. Your system is set and it's rigid and it works and it doesn't get disrupted by random events. If you do it any other way, if you try to please yourself, try to be efficient, your customer will disrupt that 
and cause absolute chaos. You will be neither efficient nor effective. That's what lean drives you to be. Remember this, effectiveness first, efficiency second, and then you'll get lean right. And by the way, you will make pots and pots of cash.